Okay, we're recording. Yes, we are. Hello, everybody. My name is Regular Gamer Ox. Welcome to the Lazarette demo. So, if you do not know, Steam is having its next fest going on. So, because that there's hundreds of demos, new demos going on. So, it's October. So, I said, let's see what horror demos they have. They have quite a few. Some I've already played, like the Bunny Graveyard demo. Already played that. But this is one that did catch my eye. So for what it says, you play as a rescue member going over to a ship that has a distress signal, but the ship has dis been disappeared since four years ago. Mm. Interesting. I will say uh, this game... Sorry, give me a second, wait. Okay, sorry about that. So like I was saying, this game looks very interesting. Before the menu pulled up, it actually gave me a notice that there was motion sickness and stuff. Mostly because the ship sways and stuff, so I did disable that because it will make me nauseous. But also because I don't want anyone to be nauseous while watching this video. So I did disable the head bobbing and the uh, ocean sway stuff. It was recommended I keep on air, but I do get nauseous from stuff like that. I don't want anyone else to get nauseous from stuff like that, so I disabled it. So I do apologize about that. But hopefully that won't be too much of a change on the game. So without further ado, let's see what secrets this ship holds. Actually kind of reminds me of Man of Dan. Four years ago, a ship called the MTS Endurance and disappeared on its voyage across the Atlantic Ocean has recently emerged. You remember the glorious crew crew to investigate a distress signal come from the launch lost cargo vessel. In the harsh weather conditions, the rescue operation went awry. You're only a member of the team who made it onto the ship. Onto the ship, sorry. Very nasally today. You hit below deck to look for any signs of life. Okay, so the MT Endurance. <laughs> and it's kind of... I don't know why, but I, mean, I feel like it's going to be some Man Medan kind of things. So, oh, wait, did I... Oh, yeah, that's gonna make me nauseous tonight. Change that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just can't deal with that. That's... Why is it still there? Still doing it, it's not letting me turn it off. I am pressing enter. Both of them. I don't understand my escape works. Oh yeah, this is gonna make me nauseous. Give me a second, guys. Okay, there we go. The sway's gone. Good, because that will make me nauseous very quickly. I do get motion sickness. It happens. Yeah, I feel like this game is going to give me some Man Medan vibes. If you don't know what Man Medan is, it's an old Dark Pictures anthology game. The first one in the series, I played a while back. So go check it out. Especially before uh, Dylan and Me comes out. Very soon. Hello. Yeah, that's some not looking good waters. I can't see anything in there. Hmm. My nose hates me. See what's over here first before I go down the hallway. What is that? A mannequin? Uh let's go see what that is. A mannequin? Hello, anyone in here? Captain? 
crew members? Cabin boy? Anyone? Here's the laundry. I'm gonna need not the laundry. It's not good sound. I don't know any code. Actually, I haven't even picked up or looked at anything. Alright, draw. I guess I need to find some sort of code for this. I don't know which way to go. Uh, let's go to one that looks less scary. I take that back. It's locked. This game definitely seems like it's going to- it kind of- I don't know why, but style reminds me of a, a Resident Evil game almost. Like a Resident Evil set in Man of Dan. Or just Resident Evil Revelations. <laughs> Finding anything yet? <laughs> what was that noise? Okay. So far, I'm not seeing anything too much. Uh, hi? What? No, where are you? You're not a normal mannequin. You're like a person who was turned to stone by Medusa. It's like you have barnacles growing out of you. <laughs> Be fair, you're out on the sea, so I guess that makes sense, but, uh... Did she- did this person encounter Medusa or something? This just got interesting. Did the whole crew turn to stone and have barnacles grow out of him? <laughs> Nothing. I was arrested. Very weird. Nice gloves. That's blood. Okay, still there. Yeah, this person died, but the question is, why is there still blood? And why is it look it's not dried out? I think this person's death looks weird. I'm not seeing any... Hmm. Looks like it came from the abdomen. Don't know if it's stabbing or something more. I'll look for there in a second. Let's continue investigating. Never body... What do you guys think happened to these guys? Because there's that guy out there who, like, he was turned to stone has barnacles growing on him. And these guys are just straight up just dead. Sorry. Hide? Oh. Oh no, this is gonna be like Outlast, but on a boat. Outlast on a boat. 1947. Hmm. Maybe I can use that for that little, uh, box. Let's go check out the box. Uh, did anyone else hear the weird radio signal sounds? Uh, okay, that was unnerving. Okay, 1947. Okay, it's an anchor bash of sorts. An anchor relic. Okay, well we got what we needed from there. Let's 
Let's head back. I hope things actually go well for us. Oh, the chains. I think that big sound is probably just a like ship bellowing or something. No. <laughs> okay. So this stone person who I think might have been human, who looked like they were turned to stone by Medusa, and has barnacles growing out of him, just walks, looks at me, just walks away. Well then, nice meeting you too, friend. Because you just sat back down. Yeah, just, uh, just take a seat and stay down. Thank you. Okay. That was unexpected a bit. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, it is like a residual puzzle. Okay, I like that. Woo! Hey, yo, buddy. Nope. I don't know why you're in the locker. First, I want to see what's down here. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't want to know. I'm just go. Hello, my friend. Hope you're having a good day today. Because things are very weird. God, it, it's, it's weird like you're having an enemy who's a mannequin almost. <gasps> that overhead light. Okay, I must admit. Uh, looks like the lower levels are filled up with water. Guess that was to be expected. This ship has been out here for four years. It was bound to fill up on some of its layers. I do not like this at all. Hello? to the crew to make them turn to like a stone mannequin of sorts. It just turns out there is a Medusa on the ship. There is, I'm calling Kratos. <laughs> oh crap, just one of them up there. Oh wait, we, we've been, wait, we've seen from here, from like up there. Hello. Thank you for the key. Stairwell key. Shift to run. Why is it telling me how to run? Why is it telling me how to run? I don't like when games tell me how to run. I don't like when games tell me how to run. Because that usually means I'm about to do some running. Okay, stairwell key. I think I know which door is the one that's locked, but uh, no. <sighs> okay. <gasps> oh, hello. Who was that? Okay, was that one of the stone guys? I think this was the door. Okay. Mr. Stone Man. Oh, one of them's down there. Multiple are down here. Great. Great, I don't like my chances here. I wish I had a flashlight. I'm a rescuer, but I don't have a flashlight. 
probably just one of the basic things to have. Guess I'll just leave y'all to it. I'm just making a run for it. Is there no door I can open? I don't like this. I don't like this, y'all. I really don't like this. There's just no door I can open. Seriously. How do you realize this was here? Uh, I'm gonna need a barvis. Use my power of Gordon Freeman. Been a while since I've had a crowbar weapon. It's enough to destroy stone because I would basically try and bash in all y'all's head if I'm being honest. Okay, I think I know where I can use this. I saw you. I saw you there. Was it one of y'all? It was one of us. Wasn't it? Nope, I'm out. I have an idea where I can use this. There was a barred up door. A good bit back. You could probably use this to open that door. So far, this is really good. Atmosphere is perfect. The scares are on the more creepy side than just straight up jump scares. But sometimes that's what is needed. There's two right there. I'm worried about that. Okay, what's in here? A statue started to appear on the third day. It was just one or two at first, but more would show up every day by the end. Of the week, there were dozens of them. Okay, so there are statues. Some of the statues have already started moving. They're killing, they kill three people already. Okay, so they're not stones, people, they're statues. And they're killing people. In fact, when the quarantined areas, I whistled to get the crew's attention, and one of the statues whistled back. We've only had one more fatality in the last week. The sentient statues will always whistle back and has proven an effective way of avoiding danger. Well, they will always respond if you're too close. So I think it would be best for the rest of us to find a pl safe place to hold up for now. There's not many of us left now. The engines have stopped, but we can't get to the bridge. There's something else on the ship and stalks the corridors looking for survivors. Oh great, there's something else besides the statues. The same place for us right now is in this room. I just hope we're rescued soon. <laughs> nah, there's gotta be more in here. Gotta be more than just a flashlight. can't tell where I need to go. I have an idea, but... Okay, I have an idea, because we do have a flashlight now. There's like a little dark area back down here. I 
heard it whistle back to me, but I don't know where the fret is. Besides these two. It's not whistling back. I don't like that's not whistling back. Why is it not whistling back? Can't bang the doors. Okay. Oh, he's here. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. I don't have anything to put in there. I'm trying to be as cautious as I can, but I'm not hearing any whistling back. Oh crap, what is it? Are we going to see the creatures causing this? That is not a statue. That is not a statue. That is something else. Captain Cutler? That's definitely not one of the statues. If he's out here Roman, that's not good. Well, if he's appearing here, that means there must be something important in this room I need to get. There's nothing. I'm hoping to find something, but I'm not finding anything. Our statue guy. It's a paper clock. I need a combo for it. What clock? Is there a clock in here? Hmm. of just a clock? Have we even seen a clock yet? It doesn't even have hands. Okay, and then a code box. Is the monster out here lurking now? Is there a clock in here? Here it is. Eleven thirty-five. Okay, that might be the combo then. Let's get back to the box. Uh oh. We heard something. Could it be him? I don't even know what it was. It, 
Okay, what did I say it was? 11.35? Yes. I can't see it. A screwdriver? What do I need a screwdriver for? No, there's a vent right here. Here we go, I can open this up. Oh, this is a room that we couldn't open from the other side. Hello, statue man. Moon sigil? Okay, where do I use this at? Of all things. Polaroids. I mean, projector slab slides. Why did I say Polaroids? Completely opposite. Completely different thing. I know where I can use these, so that's good. Over here on the right. I'm still trying to be cautious. I don't know if he's actually hunting me or not. Or am I just been a scare? Okay, that looks like that room. We've seen that one. Okay. Oh, there's a button on the side of it. Okay, we know where that is. We know where that is, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Every time I hear that noise, I keep thinking he's here and after us. Here we go. Do you realize there's something on the side over here? Move this out the way. Press the button. Oh, that's making noise. I don't like that. Press switch. Here we go. Okay, it's the sun sigil? I... What do we... Wait. Wait, I, I have an idea. There was a door. There was a weird shaped door. Back over here and to the left. That weirdly shaped door might be the way we need to go. This really does feel like... Kind of like a mixture of like a Resi Evil with its puzzle style. With Outlast kind of mechanics on stealth. Yes, we got them both. Open the door. Yeah, it feels like I'm playing a weird version of Resident Evil Revelations. <gasps> hey, Captain Cutler. The man literally looks like Captain Cutler's ghost from Scooby Doo. But more modern, I guess. Oh yeah, he's after us. He looks like a Dead by Daylight monster. But I won't deny, he actually looks kind of cool. I was not supposed to turn around and actually see him there. I'll say again, the man basically said Captain Cutler's ghost. Okay, my running is not over yet. Or maybe it is. Is he going to turn me to stone, or...? Nope, he's just going to throw me down to the lower floor. Oh, that's the end of the demo. I'm going to release a full game early in 2023. I actually enjoyed that. It's puzzle mechanics in first-person style remind me of more Resident Evil with its puzzle style. But definitely seems like it's going to have Outlast-style stealth mechanics. And I'm curious about the story. I mean, why are there statues killing people? And what to do with Captain Cutler over there? You guys don't know that reference. is a Scooby-Doo reference of this one ghost who looks like a scuba diver. Okay, let's return back to the menu. Well, for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe since it supports me and the channel. And if you guys have any gaming recommendations at all, do leave it in the comments down below. But until then, I'll see you guys next video. Stay awesome.